What is happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd start this one a little bit differently just because of the nature of this trip. We are currently in Cabot Links, which is in Nova Scotia, Canada. It's about a three hour drive from the airport to actually Cabot Links out here. We got in yesterday right around five o'clock, which gave us enough time to check out this villa that we're in right now. And as you can see behind me, this is hole number one. There's guys out there right now grinding already. They have two courses here. They have the Lynx course and the Cliffs course. Today we are playing the Lynx course. Tomorrow we're gonna be playing the Cliffs course. It's a little chilly up here, a little wet, a little windy. So it's gonna be playing true Lynx style today, which I can't wait to experience the full thing. We'll have Kelsey behind the camera and uh, yeah, let's jump into it. We have made it to the first tea box. I got some freshly baked cookies here on the first tea box, a little bit of coconut. We got Tom on the bag today. Hi, Tom. How are you? How long have you been out here, Tom? Uh, I've been here from the beginning. Very beginning. Very so this, beginning. So this course was 2012, Cliffs was 2015. That's right. Okay, sweet. It's not really a Brody Smith course vlog unless we have the wind, unless we have the cold. It's about 50 degrees. I know some people don't think that's cold. It was 97 in Dallas yesterday, so yeah, it's a little bit of a cold shock here. We got the Corgi head cover, the new putter, the Odyssey San Diego. That's what I've been rocking. A lot of people have been asking questions and videos. We are right on the water. You can literally see the water from every hole. We are gonna have some fun, so let's get going right now. Yeah, right. 267 flag. 267, uh, yeah, 200 bunkers. So you like right like back. a 240 number though to yeah. kind of land and roll yeah, up there? Kinda... Sounds actually a decent strike though. It is actually pretty cold. This is almost kind of bringing me back to Beth Page Black days. Kelsey, how do you feel? Lucky, I love you. It is definitely tough conditions to be out here, especially if you're not playing. So, Kelsey, always the trooper. Brady's getting some reads. Oh. Go. Go. Oh my goodies. Go. Oh man. Oh, broads. Ah! I just moved a little bit more than I thought. All right, that's all right. 256 today? Is this not, man, it's two, yeah, 247 on the card. Then I like starting off the round with two uh, long lines. Also, we got the villas right behind us. That's where we're staying right now. Not that one specifically, but just so you guys can see how close that is. All right, almost kind of the same identical shot as we just had. Landed at like 240. All right, we're gonna go driving iron here, guys. We're just gonna try to hold off the driving iron. I did not hold it off. That's on a different hole. This lie is not sweet. You want to fly this? Are you going to fly this? Yeah, I think fly is the way to go so I don't have yeah, to really mess with all that stuff, yeah? I just have no idea how this is going to so good on yeah. my feet. Come back down. Come down that. Oh, it just stayed on top. Yeah, I think so. I used to hit hard enough. All right. Good bogey, Brody. Bogey, Brody. We would like to see Birdie, Brody. I would like to see Birdie, Brody come out too. <laughs> he is nowhere to be found. We need the bird. Ah! Ah! Oh my God. What's it to clear all that? stuff on the right. 296, the flag is only 307 to the flag. Okay, we're going driver. Right at it. 
Well, short the wind, probably. Any snakes? No, not like a bunker shot, maybe. Good job! I'll take that every time. Wow. That hit it hit something and started going left. It was supposed to go right and it definitely hit it hit, definitely. hit something. What? No. Definitely. Yeah, the snot starting to come in. That's that's, that's what you, you know. know. Long part four here. We made it to hole number four. Kind of sits in between this little hole. This little hole, just right back here, the tee box, pretty cool. Bunker on the left is uh, 270 to carry. So just fly the bunker on the left. There's a uh, far, but it's on the right hand side. The weather is not letting up, folks. 92 yards, 58 degree. The wind caught it, it might go in the bunker. Oh, you hit it on the green. Oh, oh, I thought it was going in the bunker. I thought it was going in the bunker. I was like, I, I mean, it looked dead going straight to the bunker. Yeah, until the wind picked it up and launched it another five feet forward. Good job. Thank you. We are playing some link style golf out here right now, folks. Couple things. One, it's not coming down. Two, can't feel the legs. Three, oh, yeah. Can't feel the hands. Four, Sick hot bath waiting for me back in the villa. Five. Ooh, yeah. I can't feel my face when I. You can't feel your face either. Go go. Did you get a beanie? Yeah, I got a beanie. Have you showed off the beanie? I'm wearing like seven layers because it's freezing, freezing. Yeah, a little, a little tricky double breaker. I think it's going to settle into the right. You go straight at it. Yeah. Ah. 190 elevated T, probably playing down to like 185. Wind behind. I want to see like a pitching wedge. 190 pitching wedge in this weather? That seems a bit crazy, but that's what we're dealing with out here. Yesterday I had a player in a hole in one this thing. Oh my one, gosh. Oh wow, back to back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. My heart's racing now. <laughs> so this is walking up to the hole. Beautiful. Looks like something out of a movie. Please go in. Oh my goody. Ah! It is uh, tough to make cuts outside of five feet on these greens, I'll tell you that much. They've got some protection with the greens. So we just learned something interesting here. The grass on the greens is very, very tough to read and tough to really make you know putts outside of five feet or so because apparently fescue is the greens, T to greens. So like the fairways fescue, all this is fescue, the greens are fescue. I don't think I've ever played on a course that is the same grass all the way from T to green. That's very cool. I don't even know where that went. Just battling the elements. So here's the start of the fairway. Brody hit that ball pretty well. You couldn't see with all the the, the all the droplets on the screen, but he barely made the fairway because the wind is riffing that hard. 190 yards. Brain starting to malfunction. Uh, we're gonna. Wind is probably too close. No, it would be a seven. I'm either thinking a full five or like a knockdown four and run it up. Do you like the run up I like play? The run, run you, play on this yeah, let's go four. We're gonna go four. Man, laying up on a par four is not normally something you guys see me do very often, but uh, it's today's happening conditions. It's what, it, what it is what it is. One down. 
bad all? Okay. Not the best, not the worst. That's not a shot either that you see me play very often. The nine iron bump and run, but you got to do what you got to do out here. Come on. Um, it's interesting because I'm putting, you really have no feel. <laughs> Just trying to grip the club itself is difficult. I feel like I'm actually putting decently. I'm putting some good strokes on the ball. Just nothing's really dropping right now. So we're just gonna keep on the bogey train, I guess. Bogies are, I guess they're okay right now out here when it's freezing, windy and rainy. So can't complain too much. I'm just, man, I need a hot chocolate or something. We're struggling out here, folks. It's gotten colder and it's gotten rainier. Yeah. We're getting lit out here today on the wings course. <laughs> All right, so what do you say, 180? I love how we're both standing away from the hole. Well, this is why I wear the gear I have. Yeah, 185 into the wind. You saw what it did in the last hole. It killed it. Yeah, let's just do a knockdown five. I almost lost it, guys. Club almost flew out of my hand. Oh. That's kind of what I expected a little bit there. Well, that's how you should have been playing the whole time. We're speed golfing. Great bogey! Almost lost the club again. Anyway, here we go, speed golf. The club almost flew out of your hands. Yeah, I, I have like no. that video you tagged me in and said that was my shot? That's karma. Guys, I think we have a new winner for toughest conditions I've played in. Kelsey, would you agree? Yeah. I checked the weather forecast. It's supposed to be like 68 to 80 in July up here and Not sunny. Not today. Not today. Is that the eagle? Oh, I don't think you're going to see it, but there's a bald eagle flying through the air. What? That's pretty dope. Oh, yeah, you can't see it barely. That little speck. It's a bald eagle. Rag 300 out. Yuck him. I don't even know where that went. Todd said it'll work, so we're going 120, 50 degree. Survival golf at its finest. Oh. Survival golf! Oh, We're moving on! How you feeling, Birdie? Cold. Cold. We're on hole nine. Speed golf. Survival golf. That's what we're doing out here. Hold on to the club. Man, that wind just grabs it and it's like, nope, it's going over here. 103 yards. Brady's using his 50. E -e. E -e. Oh, short. oh, straight. All right, guys, that's gonna do it here. Front nine, cabin links, tough conditions, to say the least. We're gonna keep trooping on. Survival golf on the back nine. Hope you guys enjoy the first part. Hopefully you're warm watching this somewhere because we certainly are not. We'll see you in part two. That's how you play survival golf. Oh no, it's left. Ah, oh, that swing. You didn't hit it. What the flip? Oh dear. Okay, on the hole 11. We're going to speak off. Hole 12, driver.
Oh, I didn't even see it. We're gonna try it ball contact. Ah! Not like a nice 200 yard three would do it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so Brody asked me. We were talking about how cold we were and how. Oh, I, I how, asked Kelsey, like, how's my swing look? She said it looks like my swing. Yeah, my good. swing. And, it's like uh, almost like he's chopping at the ball. Yeah. And I asked my, him why. Well, my body, once my body gets cold, I'm pretty much done. The problem is I forgot I had a rain jacket and I was wearing that nice, like, warm poofy jacket. Poofy. But it made, it got everything wet. So right now my pants are wet. I'm, everything's wet. And so I'm cold. So I don't know if you guys are even enjoying this video. Let me know in the comments. If we get another situation like this where the weather is just absolutely trash, should we even film or should we not? If you guys are enjoying the like, struggle. Do you, do you this, like watching Brody struggle? Yeah, do you like the struggle golf? Because if you do, we'll keep doing it. If not, I'm completely fine with calling it a day <laughs> and going and taking a hot shower. So let me know in the comments. Nice. I'm gonna show you how disheveled I look right now. I'm trying to walk against the wind to keep my hood up. So if I walk, if I walk into the wind, my Big hood. Oh! Oh my God! Speak off, speak off, speak off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hole 12. We're still frozen. Got some hot chocolate, trying to warm up. Brody, beasting it out. Trying to hold on to the club. Trying to hold on to the club. So when he swings, it doesn't fly out. Speed golf is uh, not really being speed golf with the people in front of us, unfortunately, right now. Not <laughs> everyone's got the speed golf memo. Like my actual oh, cheeks. Lord. Say? Like mac my act, no, like my actual cheeks or not? Oh, I thought you said mac and cheese. That's that would have been a good one. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Ninety yards. Okay, we got half that there. <laughs> got forty-five yards left now. Perfect layup. Look at that chunkers, man. I'm ready for the shot. That's gonna blow your mind. I almost made it. I feel like I had an epidural. Like my hips and below are just absolutely no feeling. You know what? I have a good feeling about this. I think this one's going in. Go in. Yeah! yeah! Woo! Hold it! Hold it. <laughs> I knew that one was dropping. There we go. Hold number 13. Driver, got to get it up over the hill. Yacker McYackersons. We're doing weird stuff today. Let's try, we're experimenting. So I barely even made the fairway. I have no idea how, I mean, I hit that actually pretty good. We've got 215, probably playing 250. We're gonna experiment and hit a three wood out to the left. Try bringing it in. Oh, settle down. Get up there. Okay, just a little short right. We don't take it. Not the worst, not the best. Go in. Oh! Wait, a little left at the end. Holy. Off. I don't think I've ever played around where no. I have tried to get out as fast as I possibly could. Because of weather conditions. But this is the route. Look at this view, guys. This is the par 3, 14. Look at this beautiful view. It just kind of makes you forget about how cold you are because it's so pretty. Wait, did you just say it makes you forget how cold you are? For me. What does? The whales? No, the the view. Yeah, come. It went over! Right over there! 
Brody has found himself in the gully. Yak -a yak Wait, where'd he go? Oh, no, Broads. I'm in the, I'm in the thick stuff. What are you going to do? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Let's bomb it. Speed gob. Sweet swing, Brody. Thanks. I'm sorry if you're not enjoying this video because of the bad golf or the lack of commentary or whatever. I'm just one of those people that once I get cold, it's over. It's over. And I've been cold since hole two, so. Survival golf. Four holes left. Four holes. <laughs> it didn't move, so I don't think it was close. It's just like right here, and then at coming down, it's just. It's like a judo chop. <laughs> Is that what you're calling my swing? <laughs> judo chop. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone uh, talk about a swing as a judo chop. I'm not sure that's what you want to hear, but you know what? Thanks, babe. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh, baby Jesus. <laughs> we are on hole number 16. On the edge, as you can okay. see to the left. And this ocean wind is ripping. I mean, it's been ripping all day, so. Yuck. All right, we're out there, folks. How are you doing over there, man? You know, I would be pissed if you guys don't like this video. <laughs> if, if they're like, this video is trash, I would be pissed. <laughs> me too. Me too. Honestly, <laughs> me too. Oh. Jeez. Just look at this beautiful view, though. It is a nice view. Yeah! So we'll walk right by it on the way up there. Scoping out his lay, but we're playing speed golf, so you know. Quick little visual. It's gonna sit it nice and pretty up there. Nice and pretty, nice and pretty, nice and pretty. Icky, icky, icky. Woo! Even those are tough out here. The pars? Even, well, no, just even putting. Was that a par? Yeah, I think so. Oh, good job. Thank you. If you want to feel like what I'm going through right now with putting, stick your hands in your freezer. For 20 for about, minutes. Yeah, for about 20 minutes. Then take them out. And run, run outside. Run them under the water real fast just so they're wet. Yeah. And then grab your putter. Maybe, maybe punch the wall four times. <laughs> punch the wall four times. And then grab your putter and try to make a three-footer. That's what that putt is felt like. Got a nice little hole 17 par 3 here. If I can zoom in, I will. Higgity yak. Please hit the T back. Oh. oh. We are dancing. I thought I thought I was going to have to yell again. <laughs> There's like a ridge yeah, that you have to get over before you get into the hole. Off this, right? That's it. You can get it thrown over here. So you can hit it up over there. Get it to run over that ball mark there. Yeah. I mean, if this goes in, I might jump in the ocean. Oh, how's it staying up there? Looks like you're staying dry, buddy. That was a uh, that was a great first putt. Great lag. I mean, I'm, this is my distance for putting. This is where I really thrive. That's sarcasm, ladies and gentlemen. But he That's pars it. I mean, that is that is the two putt specialist right there. And the sun! The sun has come out at Cabot Leaks. Oh, what perfect timing for hole 18, guys. 
This is fantastic. Hole 18. <laughs> we are just talking about food situation. Amy had the two steeples. Last hole. Survival golf. Do I swing as hard as I can? I might break my back. Don't break your back and just don't hit panorama. Aim for the domes. I say that was a good shot. And where do we want to land it, you think? Well, just get it on the brow of the hill, it could be all right. You're 117, so I'd say 100 yards might be. Land at 100? Yeah. Okay. Let's do a smooth 58. Good. Oh, yeah. We got a bounce, yeah. which is always nice. Broods. How many? Oh, huh? Last chance for a birdie. Kind of gonna go up the hill to the left a little bit. Go in. Oh. Go. Dang it. 18 holes, no birdies. Dang. Are you, are you upset about it? I mean, I'm upset for you. I mean, I can't be too upset. Good job. Can't be too upset. That was a round and a half. I can't get the ball out. My hand. <laughs> Ah, survival all the way until the very end. It was a pleasure. Hey, great round. Appreciate it. We got, uh, we got the cliffs tomorrow. Hoping for, it's actually starting to clear up not too bad. Oh, you, this is the shot, Kelsey says. Oh, oh, just poke me in the eye. All right, uh, that was Kevin Links, guys, at the hardest it could possibly be. So if you're interested in coming up here, you'll probably play it a lot better than I did. Uh, because it probably won't be those conditions for you, but we still had a fun time. We kept it together. I'm absolutely freezing cold. The course is beautiful. The course is amazing. That's the thing. It was literally the worst weather possible and the course still looked good. So if you come out here and it's sunny, blue skies, my goodness, good for you. We have nice heated floors in our shower, which is also a nice plus here too. I don't know if they talk about that at all, but that is a huge thing for me and Kelsey. And uh, we're gonna get warmed up, eat some food, and. Uh, get ready for tomorrow. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this because it was a grind. It was survival golf and uh, we'll see you guys at the cliffs next. Goodbye.